way in the morning, Shade 45. You know, one of my good friends in this music business, I, as you guys all well know, is uh, from the Bronx, Jennifer Lopez. Oh, uh, no, stop. No, by the stop. way, she's really. listening. Is she listening? Oh, she, oh Jay. Jay, you got to hit me up so he knows okay. you're listening. Okay, All that's right? my so girl. You know. I was going to do my whole spiel. Um, <laughs> but one of the things I've always admired about um, J-Lo yes. is that one of the what have this spoke speaks about this, too, mm-hmm. and, and we also heard Ramon Dukes just talk about how to balance life. Yes. Especially yes. In, when you're in the, uh, the, the eye of the storm of success. Absolutely. And you know what it is? It's more about balancing her spirit, balancing her soul, yeah. balancing and understanding that, you know, number one, she believes in God and so do I. That's okay. number one. We know we know who drives the car. Well, I got to introduce you before you go off, though. <laughs> Did sorry, I introduce you yet? No, I'm I haven't. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, but but that right there, that sentiment mm-hmm. that you just shared with us, right. that reeks with Jennifer in a great Absolutely. way. When you when she comes into your environment, Absolutely. you feel her vibration, you feel her energy, mm-hmm. you sit next to her, it makes you want to be better. You can't be just anybody to sit next to her. You can't. Your vibe got to vibe with her. You got to be on the same vibration. You got to be on the same frequency. If you're not... She ain't with it. And that voice you hear right there is Jennifer Lopez's spiritual consultant, her mm-hmm. great friend. Yes. Um, she's a spiritual healer and a psychic medium. Yes. Uh, and we, she goes by the name of the one and only J. Ray. Yes. Yes. J. Ray. You got J. Lo and you got J. Ray. Ray. But, Jay, you know, just so, just so everybody knows, Jay's, of course, one of my very good friends. And I thank her every single day for, for trusting me with her spirit and trusting me uh-huh. with her soul. But I do way more others than just just jay you know that happened kind of in a god's way it was a god plan it kind of aligned and that's how we met and and it was it's a great story and i'll tell it another day but at the end of the day she truly is a loving spirit and when you have to be a loving spirit you do well you notice her life yeah and trajectory has been forever going and my homeboy bm you know what i'm saying he Mm -hmm. has handled it as well and right now they're on the leo aquarius axis which is happening as we speak what does that mean okay jay ray let's get into it all right let's go let's go and by the way shout out to jennifer lopez absolutely absolutely Absolutely. all right all right and and my benny and egt and all them because they're okay at the end of the day right now we are going into what january 21st we're going into a full moon but we're going into a total eclipse okay okay it's on the leo aquarius Aquarius axis, meaning that it has a spot in Leo and a spot in Aquarius that basically that's where the energy is charged. Okay. Okay? Okay. This is all about self-reflection. It is the last one of the eclipses. The first one started in February of 2017. Mm -hmm. August 22nd of 2017. Came back around again around February, uh, I'm sorry, August 9th of uh, 2018. And now this is the last one. Okay. Now, if you haven't figured your shit out by now it's going to make you figure it out by the 21st meaning light is going to be brought onto situations that you maybe did not want to see now this could be a lesson or a blessing this could be a good this could be bad okay everything has a shadow side to it right so right now what everybody needs to be aware of is what they're doing not what other people are doing the victim shit don't play with me. Okay. What are you doing mm-hmm. that's contributing to your own nonsense? Okay. okay? I don't want to hear about what everybody else is doing. What are you doing? Right <laughs> I, right it's all about self, right? We always go back to self. Uh-huh. And that's what this is about. We're also going to a universal year of three. Last year was a detrimental year. It was a dismantling year. It was an 11-year, universal 11-year, 2018. It woke everybody up. It made everybody have to see themselves in ways they never wanted to see themselves. Uh-huh. It made people want to go damn it what the hell is going on that was last year coming into this year we're going to a universal three year it's freedom creativity Mm -hmm. communication Mm -hmm. it is all about you speaking your voice being heard knowing who you are owning your worth knowing your self-worth knowing your self-love and understanding who you truly are and how you want to project yourself out into the universe if you don't make that connection in these time periods pass you up mm-hmm. what does that mean it necessarily means you kind of go to what we call nine year cycles in numerology okay you gotta kind of do this for another nine years who the hell wants to keep doing something know. for another nine years being with the same person you know you shouldn't be with for another nine years oh. or or maybe being at a job you don't want to be at for another nine years uh-huh. you know it's going to take you another nine years to kind of get you to where you want to go and that takes time who's got time time is an illusion it's all bullshit uh-huh. we got divine time and then we got window of opportunity when those two things clash it's not a good day wait you just said time's an illusion it's a, <laughs> meaning it's a man-made construct it's a, it's a man-made construct but it's a because it's divine time it's whenever what, god what says it is 
Because yeah. time we ain't guaranteed. We don't think we have this time thing no, going on, but we, we really don't. ain't got it. Who, Julius who? Caesar made the calendar. Yeah. yeah it literally, but it, 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 it's all BS. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Yeah. Time, time truly is just Pace. an illusion. It truly is. And yeah. we all think we have time. And that's why I tell everybody, live today as if it, there really is no tomorrow. Because tomorrow really has not happened yet. Wow, how did you get involved with this? Jay Ray is here. By the way, give mm-hmm. out your social media. I want citizens to be able to hit you up at directly. J, at, at Jay Ray Lamas, J A E R A E L A M A S, on my Instagram. Same thing on all of my social media feeds, Twitter, uh, sort of Facebook, everything else. They call me Psychic Jay Ray. I hate the word psychic, by the way. That's my. Uh, well, you, it's in your bio. It says you're a psychic it. medium. I, I, you know what? The word psychic has such a bad rap to it. Well, and what are you? I find myself to be more of a spiritual counselor, con- spiritual consultant. I feel like my God is my boss. Uh-huh. He speaks to me and I speak to you. What are your, can you, you can advise and help people, you know, realize things mm-hmm. that they can do right. to potentially right. help better their situation. Exactly. But a psychic, and I know you don't like that no, word. No, that's okay. okay. You, you can a, use it. A psychic is a person who's able to do what? Is able to foresee. Okay. A little bit more down the road than maybe what you can. And okay. what I'm able to do sometimes is go, yo, if you want to do this, you can't do this no more. This has got to go. And you, you, if you want to be able to have that, then you're going to have to not do this anymore. So we got to change your pattern. We got to change the way you do things. We got to change things up. We got to bring, number one, we got to bring your faith back. Okay. Your base, right? That's your base is your faith. What, if you, your don't, what if you don't believe in, not everybody believes in a God? Right. Call, call the supreme intelligence. Call it something, but you ain't controlling anything. Okay. As much as people want to think they walk around, you ain't controlling anything. That's your ego. Your ego ain't going to get you far. Your ego is just going to screw you up and put you in places and situations you don't want to be in. And then you're going to keep finding yourself back to square one again. And you're going to find yourself getting very frustrated. So you always want to make sure that faith is your first fundamental part of everything you do. Meaning you have to believe in divine time. You have to know when to stop. You have to know when you feel that resistance step back you got to know when that door closes keep it shut you got to know when the door opens and you're on you're on shore and you got a little bit of fear step into it anyway okay. become fearless don't be thinking about you know fear can control a lot of people have you ever given anybody information mm-hmm. that became detrimental to them that, it, was, that wasn't a successful no reading no You've been as successful every yes. time. Yes. What, what, and what, I don't say that without being honest. I, cause I feel like you're I, stunning on us right now. <laughs> no. Like it, I'm you not got a flawless right record, Jay Ray? <gasps> it's not flawless. It's okay. what it is. It's, 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 but I listen, I don't tell people what they want to hear, Sway. Okay. There's a lot of people that don't like me because I tell them the truth. And then I walk out of there and you know, two days later, they're like, yo, I wanted to punch throat you right then and there. But you know what? I got you. I get you. I understand you now. I see why you said that. I see why you did that. I, I understand it. I didn't want to hear it at the time. But now I understand it. So now what do I do? Sometimes it takes a few takes people a couple of weeks to process me sometimes yeah, after yeah. a while, you know, to kind of get the idea of what I was trying to relate to them because they want to hear what they want to hear. I'm, I'm going to be married this guy. I'm going to have this many kids. I'm going to be living over here. I'm going to. And when I tell them the complete opposite, they're like, oh, hell no, I don't like this girl. Mm-mm. And then two days later, they go, can you could, can I talk to you again? You know, and Jay it's, Ray? it's first, yeah. yeah, Jay Ray. <laughs> That's yeah. a 3 a.m. call. You know, Jay Ray, can I talk to you? You know, uh-huh. and it's like, yo, what do you need? You know, let's let's make a plan. Let's make a plan. Anybody out there want to speak with a spiritual consultant? 8889, uh, what is it? 888 Damn. Damn, can you see? Could you foresee me ma- making that mistake? No, that's you didn't a, see that? I didn't see nothing. I'm, <laughs> I'm minding my own business okay. right now. This is your show. Okay. Ain't my show. Oh, show. <laughs> this is your show, J Ray. Go ahead. J Ray in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I'm wondering yes. so, do you perform spiritual consultation for yourself? Like, have you been able to take all of your own advice? Because we're still Absolutely. human. There's moments when I have, listen, my friends make fun of me because I go, nah, they just said no. They're like, who the hell is they? <laughs> like, well, what are you talking about? Yo, just don't worry about it. They just said no. And it's like, why? I, they just said no. Look at Nene. She's like, oh, that. She's like, mm hmm. Because sometimes she's like, yo, you want to go there? I said, no, they just said no. She goes, why? Why? Why can't we go? Why? When, when you hear that that mm-hmm. response in, in, you mm-hmm. hear in your subconscious. Yes. Okay. Um, is it, speak in English? Is it a word? It's, a, it's, it's how a, you understand language? It's a vibration. It's my okay. language. Okay. It's my language. And it's, 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 a, it's a clear, it's very clear. It's very, very clear. When I'm channeling or when I'm working with other people, sometimes I get through other energies that come through sound a little different. Maybe they're not my peeps. 
There's somebody mm. else's peeps that are stepping in and stepping in for me to say, yo, put your peeps aside. Another peeps coming in. This is they want to talk. They want to speak. They want to speak on behalf of whoever. What do you think those peeps are? Are they spirits? Are they souls? Remember, the, we are the, energy. Okay. So when we die, our physical body stays here, and we're kind of dust. Yeah. At the end of the day, so it's we're all expansive energy. So it's just an expansion of who and what you are. So it's your essence. Your essence will still be here after you're gone. Uh -huh. Your essence will still be here after you're gone. Your essence will still be here after you're gone. Your essence never leaves. You're eternal. Your energy is eternal. For instance, you know when people say, "Oh my God, he passed away." whatever or she passed away and yada 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 and i said they're in the other room they ain't it, the body left but their, their spirit their essence uh -huh. is still so much there don't don't forget them there was a time when my father passed away and i'd put a plate out for him and i or i'd buy him some italian bread and put some butter on it and be like yo enjoy <laughs> you did, know? did he eat it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, now that's where j ray would have left the building <laughs> I would, that's what sometimes i get freaked out i freak uh -huh. myself out sway i'll be honest with you there's days when i really do freak myself out when i know names when i know dates when i know certain situations that just kind of go how the hell where, where did that even come from but i trust it do you feel anything in this anybody any peeps in this room right now <laughs> well i'm getting a lot of you right now Ooh. <laughs> I'm glad you pointed at her. She's right next to me. That's why I would never put your business in the street, just like I wouldn't put a lot of my people's business in the street. Well, you could put Kelly's in Damn. it. No, I'm just kidding. J. Ray already <laughs> writing right now. Yeah, well, so I sketch. So I okay. sketch, okay? So um, the first letter I get with you is the letter D. Who's the letter D around you? Who's D? And when you think D, Kelly, get your mind out no. the gutter. <laughs> no, like who's the person around you with the letter D? Could be first name, last name. I don't know. Who's like a Daniel, Daniel, something. It could be somebody past or somebody here now. Damn, okay. you just forgot it'll, me like that, Kelly? It'll, it'll come. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that DB? Is it DB? <laughs> okay, and who's the earth sign? So who's the Virgo, the Taurus, or the Capricorn? Are they dead or living? Oh. Nah, it, it, either or oh, right now. That's what living? I'm picking up. <laughs> the voice That's what I'm better. asking. Who's the earth sign? That's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Wow, a D and a Taurus is right here, by the way. Oh, is that who? Who's that? D DB. DB is a Taurus. Oh, that's you. Oh, okay. <laughs> here we go. Okay. All Get right. out of there, Kelly. Tap out. Get out of there, Kelly. What you got going on in February? February is big for you. You got things going on in February. February is big for you. You got to make decisions by February. Or you got to make some choices. February 10th. What's February 10th? What day we for you is that for February 10th? Schedule. You don't Nothing know right now? Nothing comes to mind. Look at our schedule. Oh, well, you'll know. <laughs> Go ahead, Kelly. My you'll know in a few. But you're February. Okay, see? There's a lot of people. Just understand there's a lot of people, so it's a lot of energy. So that's why well, it, it, when it comes literally in. literally like yeah. <laughs> 12. How many people in this room? 13. Ten, 5, 10, mm -hmm. 13 people in this yeah, one 13. studio. Mm hmm if you can sort through this, you're yeah, amazing. Yeah. No, I go. <laughs> you don't know. Watch the me work, I've had Sway. To sort. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Um, I can go around the room. It'll make things be easier. easier. Okay, let, let's do that. If, if that's okay. Okay, let's okay. do that, and then we'll go to the callers because we okay. got a lot of callers okay. that want to talk with you. Who's the Aquarius? Or who's the air sign? I have Aquarius as my moon. That's your moon sign. Yeah. Okay, so I already know I got you. You got the Taurus. I yep. already know I got you. You Virgo? Virgo. You back there? Libra. You're Libra. You're another air sign. I was going to say air sign. What's the number? Um, well, I don't know Nini who she was she about. You also <laughs> a water sign. That's a Pisces, a Cancer, Scorpio. Or are you on the cusp of that? Um, um, I don't know signs, but I'm a Capricorn. My you're a Capricorn. That's another Earth sign. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So, but I feel like you're on the cusp between the air and uh, between more of Aquarius because so I feel like fun. you got this. You got that access going on because you got that change and that shift happening in your life right now. You got a lot of shifting, a lot of change happening in your life right now. You have to write. You, they just said to me exactly to you the way they just said it is. You have been ignoring the signs. Like it's something that you do. You tend to like everything to stay a certain way. And when there's any kind of shift or movement in your life, you get like you get scared. You kind of lock down. You get paralyzed. You don't want to hear no changes. We're gonna do things the way we've been doing it the whole time. We're not changing anything. But things have to change in order for things to change. If that makes any sense, okay? Mm -hmm. So you got to be a little more open to that, okay? okay? Right now. Wait a minute. Take okay. your shirt off. Uh, 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 Heather have been telling OQ to take his shirt off for years. And he's just, now we finally got it. Yeah, yeah, come on, that shit, baby. Turn it back on. You got you trying to turn it up. Change it up, ho. 
switch it up. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, where do you go? Where are you going now? Go to the sky. Go to the sky. A, and the, but also, too, I wanted to tell you, there's a female energy around you who's passed, who's very prominent, okay? Mm. And I don't know what the letter M stands for for you, but it's very prominent. And that's the person that just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and kind of banging on the back door. I would say on my back door. Okay. Okay, for you. But we, but it's a little personal for you, so we'll talk about that because that was when you were younger. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> Uh, the, the guy who's holding the camera. Oh, okay. Hika Hika. Is his name. Well, he's from Africa. That's so. okay. He's a tourist as well. That's I might so dig up something fine. deep. There's, so <laughs> there's earth signs all around, all around here. So, right? Um, right now, for you, right now, and I, oh, I don't know if I could put your business in the street because I don't know who she is. Is it okay? Is she listening? It's fine. It's okay. fine. Okay. Damn. Damn. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> say it. Say it. Let me know. I feel like there's somebody you've had and somebody you've just met. And <sighs> I feel like those paths just crossed recently. I feel like somebody you literally you've had since maybe June of 2018, and now recently I feel like somebody else has come back into the picture. I don't know who you've been talking to or somebody just recently hit you up, and you're kind of in this little bit of, of a space of you want to go forward in your life. You want, you want to have a committed, loving, monogamous, one-on-one type of thing, but it's, 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 you got to really think about what you really do want. Because okay. I think what you really want and what you can provide is two different things. And I think that's where you get screwed up. Your communication, no offense, is terrible. Mm-hmm. You don't follow you met through. Yinka. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. My bad. And, and that's something I would want you to work on this year, being it's a universal three year. I want you to be more clear about your communication. The way you say it, how you say it, and being clearer in how you put things and answer people back. Nothing's worse than not answering people back. And for some reason, you talk to people in your head, but you don't actually send the message. Mm. So I need you to be a little more, mm. really yeah, more self aware. <laughs> yeah, yeah, self aware of that because I feel like you got to keep that energy moving. Okay. Mm. okay. 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 All right. Now, you, there's a baby around you. Oh! oh! DJ Wonder? <laughs> DJ Wonder. He don't follow condoms. The- okay. God, the the crazy. Crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> He done said this on air a thousand times. I don't know. I don't know him. Okay, <laughs> TJ Wonder. Okay. okay, it's a baby surrounding him. There's a little girl. So, like I said, I'm not gonna put your business in the streets, but, 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 <laughs> but, but I'm telling you right now, I'd be very surprised. In another year, you ain't. We ain't gonna hear that you're not gonna be a daddy. There's a little girl that's <laughs> around you. I told you to go to phones, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sway, why do you want me to blow people up like this? I don't understand. Wait, wait, hold. Joey Fatone is calling me on the phone right now. Oh, jo- really? Joey. <laughs> What's up, hey, Joey? Joey, we live on the air with um um J Ray, Ray, who's Jennifer Lopez's spiritual consultant. Would you give that girl a break, Jennifer Lopez, please? (laughs) Okay, okay, she's a spiritual consultant, but that Joey's gonna know from that one. I understand, Joey Fatone. Go ahead. How you doing, Joey? I'm doing fantastic. How you doing? Yeah, I'm great. You you're live on the air, Joey. So don't talk about the money you owe me. Say what's up? I said we can't. We were, we were talking about an idea, and I think I think we may have a we may have to talk some more information about the idea that we had. We can't say it on the radio because we want nobody to steal it. Okay, so you must they have done some. Did you did you do some research since then, or you just want to follow? I, I, made, I made some phone calls, but man, that's why I'm calling you. I deliver. I don't. I don't. My well, man. Wait on anything. I make sure something happens. Jay Ray, did you see this happening? You got a lot going on, Sway. We, we, we're, we're gonna try to make it happen. Yeah. I love you. I'm gonna call you when I get off work later today. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. All right, I appreciate you. Joey Fatone, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, bye, bye. Common knowledge. Make sure you check that out on the Game Network. That's my man right there. Bye, 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 Joey. Wait, who's the other S name that you're in one We're not going to do me right now. Okay, then. Okay. (laughs) All right, let's go back to Wonder. So what happened? Well, I was just going to say that there was something. Okay, whatever. We'll handle you later. We'll have lunch. Okay. um, But there was a baby. That's a little girl around him. That's going to be his first. Is this his little girl around him? That, that. Are you happy? Congratulations, <laughs> dog. Absolutely not. Okay. No, it's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Whether so, you want it, want it to or not, it's going to happen. Jay Ray is here. You can find her on social media <laughs> at J A E R A E L A M A S. We're going to take phone calls, and then yes. I want to find out what I those what those calls. cards are all about when we come I'm back. I'm going to teach you about tarot in yes. about two okay. minutes. All right, that's yes. up next. Shade four five. Sway in the morning. Yeah, Sway in the morning. Shade four five five. Shout out to my sister Jennifer Lopez. Uh, right now, we got Spiritual Healer here, also a medium, great uh, life coach, yes. consultant, mm-hmm. a lot of, just sound like you're a great friend, as honest as you are. Yes. 
Um, yes, and I can appreciate that. J Ray, you can find her at J A E R A E L A M A S. And she's going around the room. And, Yikes. and Sway and she, says, Skip me. I said, Skip me. I mean, it's just, it'll Ain't become much. a whole nother show. Yeah, we got we got time because there's like three contracts for you right now that we got to discuss. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, so, wow. um, but why'd you do that, though? <laughs> But why'd you do that? Because they had to. I had to say it. You had to tell me. They just said it. They told you that. They just said it, just like that. Okay, cause um, that's why I asked you, you know, to skip me, cause <laughs> I don't want people to know that I got contracts lined up. No, nah, I'm joking. Okay. Um, but um, that for tone thing is gonna work though. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try. Okay. You sit right next to me. What do you want from me, Sway? Just you're, the you're, truth. I want like you to do right what you here. do. You're feeding off my we're energy. We're touching each That's other. Why we're walking it, each it, other's I energy. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it was going to ping pong. It's, you know, I'm and, trying to stay this way, but it's going this way, you know? So I'm doing my best. Tracy's and do her. and yes. when you get that offer mm-hmm. for that thing mm-hmm. that's dealing with the screen, yes. I want you to be open to it, yes. not apprehensive. Okay. They They're, told me that about you. Oh, really? Because they already did about two sizzle reels, and I told them to go scratch their asses. So, okay, okay so well, listen. maybe the next one is the one. <laughs> maybe you never know. Okay, Tracy, Maybe it's the right it. time, right place, right person. Yes. Right? That's the way it's got to be. Right messenger. Right messenger, exactly. Going to have to be God approved, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Now, working on you. You've got so many great things coming up for you this year, little girl. You got so much happening. You got good stuff. You got a lot of change, but it's good change. You're finally getting to where you want to be in life. You're finally honestly being appreciated for the talent and for the things that you do do. You're being recognized basically, okay? But you got to put yourself out there a little bit more. When I say that, you kind of hide a little bit. Mm. And I think you don't know your self-worth, your self-value as much as I don't think you realize how valued you are. So I think you need to kind of feel a little bit more of that for you personally. And once you do, it'll things will start to flow a little bit better. March is going to be a great month for you. Okay. March is going to be a great month for you. March is going to really bring things forward for you. And you're going to start to notice that... The work and the effort you've done for maybe the last two years or so, you're finally going to be like, yo, I got it. I get it. I know what I got to do. I understand it. I know what I like, what I don't like. I get it. All of it. You're finally making sense of your own life. You understand? Your own life. Hell with everybody else, too. And I think you also put too much energy into... um, uh, can I say can I try it. Okay. That's what happens. Fuck boys. You put okay. too much energy sometimes with, with people that don't give you the same energy back. Okay. It, it, you, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you send a text, you don't get one back within 10 minutes, on to the next. Mm-hmm. Swipe, delete, block. It's a very beautiful concept on an iPhone. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think that people don't use it as often as they should. Sometimes when you're not getting that same energy reciprocated, mm-hmm. you got to learn when to walk away. Okay. Seriously, because you're putting way too much more than what you're getting. Mean you're depleting yourself. That means you ain't got room for nothing else. And if you ain't got room for you, you ain't got room for anything. Okay. Seriously, then it just becomes a problem in your life. Seriously. J Ray. Yeah. Big one. I like okay. It. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Next, who will anybody have any specific questions? Uh, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> 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 He's like, I don't know. Yeah, what is the month of June? Have to tell her your name, man. Come on, man. Um, Brandon. Brandon okay, Armstrong. That's right, Brandon. Brandon Armstrong. What is June for you? What's the month of June? Wow, that's uh, my birthday. That's month. your birthday. Okay, so that's you. Okay, so now you're also waiting on something for the month of May. You've been waiting, or you're waiting. On, you have until May to figure it out. You understand? Yeah. Does that make sense for you? It makes you don't a have lot to. T- you don't have to tell me, but that makes sense for you. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Be uh, uh, cautiously optimistic. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cautiously optimistic, meaning it's not a bad thing, but be cautious. Pay attention to the fine print. Really listen to what they're saying and pay attention to what they're not saying, what they're not giving, Mm -hmm. what they're not doing. You understand? And ask why. (laughs) Why is that? And when you start to really, and that's another thing too, you in your own world, stepping into your own power and your own self-worth, you feel like sometimes you can't ask those questions. Let me explain to you. There's one of you, there's one of me, there's one of him, there's one of him, there's one of him. There's only one of each of us. Therefore, we are the power. We have the power. You have to remember that at all times. You understand? You're not knocking on their door. They're knocking on yours. Pay attention to that. I appreciate okay. that. All right. Can we do his buddy, Baron Davis? Baron Davis is in here, ladies and gentlemen. You know Baron Davis. 
TV analyst. I'm already crying. One of the, oh. one of the greatest NBA oh. players to hit the court. Facts. My good friend. Very, very talented individual he yes, is. Yes, I know that. You, I know that. And you have a gentle soul. I don't think people really understand how sensitive and gentle you are. And I think that people... <laughs> she, I think she's people, exposing them. I think <laughs> people kind of take advantage of that. And you know what's so funny about you is you would think it'd be easy for you to keep somebody, like as far as like a relationship or... Oh, uh, damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, let me be... I'm Bullseye! Being, so, no, I'm being <laughs> honest. <laughs> Yo, listen, I, to me, in my, I date a lot of people, but I'm single until I'm married. Okay. That's my theory in life. But, in your, but what I'm saying to you is you, you have such a great way about you and you are, so, you are so authentic in your personality and who you are. You don't have a mean bone in your body. Even if you can hurt someone, you choose not to. You don't, you're not revengeful. You're not that type of person. What I do want to see you do, though, is I do want to see you find your partner. And it's going to happen this year. By the way, 2019 is love. No, no, we'll have a shot in a minute. Oh, you got your partner? (laughs) (laughs) Then you're going to commit. Then you're going to put a ring on it. You're going to commit. You're going to finally knock it down, bring it down, whatever the hell it is. But 2019, by the way, love is going to find everybody in 2019 you can't run from love this year you can't hide from love this year love is going to find you in 2019 whether you like it or not but he has those two actually have a new show okay that they're doing right now Mm -hmm. Uh, tell them about it's a new show on fuse okay coming out on sunday it's called uh i can cuss what the fuck baron davis wtf okay so i get 13 in the bucket immediately Mm -hmm. 13 episodes in the bucket that's what i just heard 13 in the bucket. For next year. For next year. Hey. 13 in the bucket. Okay. <laughs> hey. But what people, but what I just heard is you have, okay, so I'm not, I'm not television. You yeah. know, I know, I know a lot of people, obviously producers and things like that. And I've watched a lot being done, but what I'm being shown is your content has to be a little more alluring. Does that make sense? The mm-hmm. word is alluring. Like they said, alluring, like your content has to be a little more alluring, you know, and, and really, and real, like, you like people need to see like a texting war or like a moment of a miscommunication or a moment of how things sometimes can be misconstrued and it, it ain't what it is. Unfortunately, we are in a day and age where we have miscommunication 24-7 of the Absolutely. way we text, the way we do this, things like that. And what you're going to learn and teach a lot of people, believe it or not, and men that are watching because boys are trying to become men and don't Absolutely. have many people to really emulate from nowadays with this the world, the way it changed. They're going to need to see that. They're going to need to see chivalry. They're going to need to understand it and see it and watch it and learn from it. Got it. Okay? And you're going to show that. And you're going to bring that out in the show. Big time. Yeah, Yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I I don't think Baron realized. I don't think he knew what he was walking himself into. I I just walked here. I'm like sweating. Yeah. (laughs) But congratulations (laughs) on the new show. Thank you. Okay? Congratulations. It's going to go to, I see two. So two okay, seasons, cool. but you're gonna go that. from there. That's gonna go. Then it's gonna keep going again. So there's gonna be some that's gonna break off of that, and things like that. No fingerprints, kid. Yeah. You know okay, what I'm saying? Is. Brandon, yeah. thank you, man. For, so thank you guys you for know, having us. This is awesome. all right, when yeah. time, man. Hang you're out, man. We, we, we want to tell you more about you. <laughs> I'm gonna go around the room. I'm gonna be fair, but I'll yes. do the cards because we've. Yes. With, you're gonna with girls. do the tarot cards. Yeah, I'll do okay. So what are tarot cards? Something that she with with friends. Yeah, y'all know. So I can't. Yeah. But what? But what are tarot cards? Okay, so tarot cards are nothing more than pictures it's broken up into four denominations earth sign water sign air sign fire sign Uh wands is fire cups is water pentacles is earth and swords is air Okay. okay my cards are my cards i read my cards nobody else reads my cards now other people read cards that's their tarot cards they read however they want to read it i like my pictures i read my pictures i see it my way that's how i read my cards okay okay so what i'll do is what, I'll what just... does that mean though is there a set way to read cards and you're <laughs> just not is, following the rules is, or... there isn't each card okay. does represent something but okay. when they are next to each other they tell a story okay. so the cards can change come sit with me yeah baby. i'm gonna come see this come on right <laughs> so i won't interfere so, with have this energy well so they can change based upon <laughs> they can change actually change based upon the energy of the question okay? okay so the picture will then start to change and morph right in front of me that i see and then i hear and then i can say okay this is what it means but I might pull it for you. It means something totally different. Don't pull it for me. You pull it for I Heather. Got, I got oh, okay. it already. Oh, you're such a crybaby. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I just we'll say, in private. cards, please tell me and tell me true. What does Heather B. need to know for the next three months? 
Three months. Cards, please. Yeah, just look at three tomorrow. months. You want to know about tomorrow? No, I just said All right. You, you got to be clear. Have, no, okay. What do you want to know? You want, you, how about the your... eclipse energy? How about we just going to know about the eclipse? What, Whatever what you want to say. You said three eclipse? months. Start with three I, okay. months. Go ahead. Do your thing. Cards, okay. please tell me and tell me true. What does Heather B. need to know for the next three months? What did... While you're doing that, what is you? She she was writing down notes. Look what the notes look like. There's <laughs> not a word in there. It's a no, scribble. No, it's my scribble, and I can read it too. It's an ancient mm -hmm. language. Oh, okay. No, no. This is the month of Capricorn. This is the month of February. Okay. So this is January, February, March. March, March gonna be good for you, girl. You got the Justice card. Okay, so things are actually coming together. You know, you got the Ten of Swords as your underlying current. I mean, you better an emotional low. You've had a lot happening. You've been at an emotional low. You've had a lot happening. Mm -hmm. You know, January, you're three of pentacles. you got to start putting work and effort back into your life, okay? Because you've been the wounded soldier a little too long. Kind of, yes, kind of sat in your own pity party for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I say that with love, but, you know. And you have to focus more on your ace of pentacles, your relationships right mm -hmm. now, okay? Whoever, wherever they are. But you got to give more energy towards your relationships right now. Kind of, you got to get back into yourself again. Got okay, it. pull one more card. You are the magician. You are the ultimate alchemist, meaning you can take anything and spin it and make it to gold. Learn that about yourself. Know that about yourself and own it. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going into February, which we have the star card in reverse, meaning there's a want wish or something that you wanted that February is not the divine time for. Okay, so it's not going to be given to you in February. Okay, and because it's not going to be given to you in February, it's going to make you have to hermit yourself and rethink and reorganize kind of what it is you want to be doing. It's going to give you an introspective time to kind of maybe reroute yourself a little bit and where you want to be. And you're, the, you know, the queen of cups, and that's all about emotions. You really got to take your emotions out of it and be a little more logical and a little more clearer about how you want to put things together, mm -hmm. okay? I'm going to pull one more card in the middle because I just heard them say that. Yeah, and there you go. You're in the world card. You're going to be on top of the world, but you're standing on top of an hourglass, which says that time is not on your side, meaning this is something that has to get done. These the decisions and ideas you have, you've got to put them out there. You've got to make it happen. Okay. You've really got to be clear about that. But when you come to March, you do have that justice card sitting right there, boy. And that means that something legal battle, any type of legal thing that has been on your back is now coming to an end and you win because the justice card is right side up. OK, so it, you have justice. It has been the Knight of Wands. You've been pissed off, angry for way too long about something in regards to a legal issue. OK, and right now you're about to get your six of pentacles. You're going to get your money or you're going to get something that's owed to you. OK, and the six of pentacles usually about crumbs, but they're not saying this ain't crumbs. This is money. If you see the see one the hand yeah, into I the X, it. they're giving to you mm -hmm. what you're owed. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's what you're owed. All right. At this particular time, girl, you got the ace of cups. That means that everything now is starting to run smoothly. So you're going to notice in March, things are finally going to make sense. Things are going to run smooth. You're going to start to see the overflow of emotion, the overflow of abundance in everything that you do. That's money. That's love. That's relationships. That's everything. Okay. okay? And they just said, pull one more card. And I got, not only did I get the three of pentacles, but I got the eight of pentacles, which again is work. You got more work coming. Work, work, more money coming, more work, more things when it comes to work. Okay? Okay. All right? And yeah. that's what's going on for you for the next three months. Okay? Oh, that's amazing. No, 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 cards, yeah, yeah. No, no, none of those cards were for me? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Thank she, you, Jay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, cool. Let's take a few phone calls. Jay yes. Ray is here. Reach her on social media. I hope y'all hitting her up because she could do this for you directly. Throw my pen right. At J-A-E-R-A-E-L-A-M-A-S. Mm -hmm. Quick questions. Yes. We'll get a quick answer. Yes. Uh, Stephanie in Oakland. Good morning. How you doing? Town business. Hey, Steph. Good up? morning, everybody. I listen to you every morning. Love you all. Uh, Love you Ray, I am in a, um, a place right now with, of just self-awareness. What, what's April? And just realizing what's April? What's April for you? What's April? April is my sister's um, birth month okay. on May. Okay, what's going on with your sister? Because that's what they don't want to talk about. I haven't talked to her in a while. I've been reaching out to her. She lives in Boston. I'm here. Okay. And there's, it's, it's a disconnect. She's I know. A, she's my dad's daughter. Okay. So we didn't grow up together, okay. but there's a disconnect, but much love. And I've been reaching out to her, trying yeah. to connect, but um, 
I, it's I, time, I Mama. It's, it's time. time. You know, let me tell you something. Here we go again. The time is an illusion. We all think we got tomorrow. You're doing the right thing by reaching out. Sometimes, without realizing, a handwritten letter is so important to get from somebody. Mm. And I'm going to tell you why a handwritten letter. When you write a letter to somebody and you use the energy of a pen to paper, the energy goes out into the universe and you write to your hand cramps until that universe, until your sister can feel your energy. She's going to feel feel it through that paper she's going to feel it through that letter you need it's not so much of an apology it's more of a listen we can't go back we can only go forward but i want to see you in my life i don't want right. to not have you in my life okay and that's the letter that needs to be written you know talking about the past don't do no good it, it doesn't it doesn't help anybody because it only rehashes right. old feelings and old hurt and pain and if you have not healed right. and done therapy and hit your triggers and deal with your old traumas it ain't gonna do it ain't gonna do shit for you write the letter even if you don't mail it write it you understand and it's gonna make you notice things about yourself too and you're gonna start to see kind of where you went wrong too you're you're the common denominator in everything in your life sweetheart <laughs> you know that so you're gonna see a That's little right. bit too about it you know and sometimes we don't realize sometimes we hurt people's feelings we don't see it by kind of how we talk to people uh, maybe our energy and sometimes we are a little too much for somebody else that maybe don't have the lights as shining as bright as ours and they kind of want us to mm. dim it out a little bit you know i get you're a beautiful woman is what i just got told you're a beautiful woman and i think that you know sometimes you kind of got kind of smacked for that a little bit if that makes any sense mm. oh, just, oh. Okay. Tears. Uh, yeah you kind of got smacked around like that because because you was so pretty and there was this thing about that so i think you need to own your prettiness i think you need to own yourself i think you need to own the fact that you need to talk to your sister and you need to write her a letter and wait for the response you will get a response you will get a response but you just got to give it to god and you got to go to bed baby that's all you can do right now i, I appreciate you i hope that right. helped and you it does thank you so much you're very welcome baby thank you stephanie for sharing your story make sure you hit her up directly you're a citizen <laughs> y'all want to do one more yes go ahead. okay let's do i'm gonna do maria in california maria maria, maria. why are you being partial to cali okay because <laughs> i'm from cali <laughs> okay. maria, maria good morning how are you hi good how are you doing great jay ray's here feels good right <laughs> hey honey That's fantastic hey yeah. baby how are you uh maria what's the j initial around you um my son's middle name okay and who's the november who's the scorpio um i i don't know okay who's the 14th of the month then my newest baby is the 15th okay. of September. Okay, so what do we got going on here right now? Is I'm gonna do, what happened in November that just passed? What changed? Mm -hmm. What shifted? Um, I had a recent growth in my personal business. Okay, and now we're, we're moving up, correct? Now why are you considering by March or April you're looking to either move? Is it a move or an expansion? Because I'm getting more of a move. What is the um, well, I'm I start my birth control. We want another baby. Okay, so that's what's starting now. An expansion because I heard expansion or move. Expansion, well, move. I am also considering um, slowing down my personal business. Okay, and working with a company, and my husband is doing the same. Also, mm -hmm. in March, it'll be a year that we stop taking birth control, so we're struggling with uh, conceiving. Okay, I get people pregnant all the time. You'll be pregnant by June. Okay, oh my God. what you're going to have to do when you're pregnant, I'm telling you right now, stop trying. Have sex because you want to, not just because it's your cycle. Have sex because you want to. Don't, if you know, have sex in the shower, have sex in a bathtub, do something crazy. Have sex in the car. You got to try right. and do it in different places. What happens is, is that, you know, we become so, we come, become so scientific about it that we kind of forget that the natural way of having a baby happens when it's supposed to happen. It's in divine time. And they just told me you'll be pregnant by June. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. Have a nice right. night. Bye -bye. Maria, take, congratulations, Maria. <sighs> we need to get Lord Sear in here. so he can <laughs> I don't know who that is. Lord okay. Sear is our next. Um, yeah, I thought you was a psychic. No, 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 Lord Sear, <laughs> he's next on air. Let's see if we can get him. Okay. He's, but he's a very char charismatic individual uh -huh. with a lot of cleverness about him. Oh. You'll enjoy him. Jay Ray, okay. I want to thank you for coming by. Also, okay. I want to thank our Yay. other guests. DJ Selectress, um, mm -hmm. Irie La, uh, Kelly Kincaid, and Abigail Adams. Make sure you donate. Call American Red Cross, the mm -hmm. national... Um
donor, just come in and say hi. Lord says, <laughs> scared. Ramon Dukes from the they Jam Master do- J documentary. Shout out to Ramon and Shaheen Reed. They did an amazing job on that. Absolutely. Doc. Remaster yeah. uh, the murder of Jam Master J. You can yes. find it on Netflix. Yes. Um, and J. Ray. And mm-hmm. then where's Laura Sear? Right here. Sear, come here, man. No, I just want to introduce you, Sear. I thought you were going to blow me up and tell me who I dated. No, I'll get to that. <laughs> you, you, you did that all by yourself. <laughs> Sear, well, you nah, I, I knew you appreciate this. is J. Ray. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm touching you. Nothing bad's happening. Okay. No, are you, no, 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 we're not trying to read you, sir. J. No. Ray, are you getting a read? Are you getting a read? Okay. While you do I'm that. I'm not going to blow him up. You're going to love this, sir. Mm-hmm. I can she, do his card. She, 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 she sold. Can, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sir, let him do your card, man. It's cool. Heather did it. Heather did it. Heather did it, though. Nah. Okay, can she tell you what she's he- what she's well, hearing? Can, can I just tell you what it is though? He grew up in he grew up in a family that this was not permitted. You have to understand he was conditioned. This was oh, not really? permitted. Really? Yeah, this okay. is something that just wasn't and I would never force anybody to ever do anything that they're not comfortable doing. And okay. that's the truth. And I've had people been like, Yo, that's the devil's work. I said, Well, I ain't the devil, but I, I understand and I respect it. Just like I want you to respect my thing, I respect it. So I do respect you. Okay. That's not what you want. Don't be mad at her, Sir. Yeah, like, 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 yeah, he coming in with the <laughs> with the way with the way he came in with the hoodie on, like I'm gonna block myself. Like, I'm gonna cover your hoodie on. Like, like, <laughs> you got all that nice Puerto Rican hair. Yeah. He you didn't have that hoodie on. Hey, Sir. I'm Puerto Rican as well, so he understands this work. He knows this work. But yeah. What I know you would appreciate is who she once went out with. Dear Lord, have mercy. That's all Why I brought you I in here. Bring this up. This is Grand Wizard Theodore's ex. It, oh, it, it was a. <laughs> it was a. Minute. The legend. It was a minute. It was a minute. It was a minute. Was it a jump off? No, 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 no I'm joking. I ain't I'm even about joking. no jump off. No, he's Are you not about me? that. That's an iconic character. You can appreciate that, sir. Not the whole everything else. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sir, like, can I leave now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lord, Sir is up next, man. <laughs> <laughs>